For the past year, I have been using a 15-inch M3 MacBook Air as my daily driver, but during Black Friday, Amazon had the brand new 14-inch M4 MacBook Pro on sale, so I decided to make the switch. This new laptop has a few key features that are really worth the upgrade, at least for me. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about them and how they make my day-to-day -day tasks a little faster and better. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Set App is an incredible cross-platform suite, which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use my affiliate link listed down below in the description. Okay, starting off with the price. The M4 MacBook Pro was on sale on Amazon for just $13.99. For comparison, Apple sells the 15-inch MacBook Air for $12.99. So you get an HDMI port, three USB-C ports instead of two, an SD card reader, 512 gigabytes of SSD instead of 256, a much better and brighter screen with the ProMotion, and the brand new M4 chip instead of the M3 on the Air for just $100 more. Of course, we're getting a 14-inch screen instead of 15, but it's very hard not to buy the base model MacBook Pro for this price. Even if you're paying the regular price, I think this computer is worth it. But as it was already on sale after being just released, it was released like for just a few weeks, I would guess that we will see this laptop on sale many more times in the future. Now, this year, Apple finally increased the amount of RAM in the base models from 8 to 16 gigabytes. And for me, my 15-inch MacBook Air was running okay on 8 gigabytes, but I do appreciate having 16 on my new computer, especially when I'm writing my scripts and have a ton of tabs open in Safari. Talking about the new M4 chip, Honestly, for the type of work that I do every day, I haven't felt much difference. However, depending on what you do, this processor will beat the previous Pro chips in many aspects, and I've seen a lot of users saving money and not upgrading to the Pro version just because of how good the base M4 is. If you want all the technical specs and numerous different tests, check out Max Tech's channel. They are very good at testing performance of the machines and comparing them to older models. Next, the screen. The Liquid Retina XDR display is simply amazing. It is extremely bright with 1000 nits sustained and reaching up to 1500 peak brightness on HDR content. So watching content, editing photos and videos, using the laptop outside on a very bright sunny day, you name it, this display will perform extremely well. It's not even a fair comparison to the 15-inch MacBook Air, which has 500 nits of brightness. And the cherry on top is ProMotion. Everything looks smoother with a higher refresh rate. It's like buying an iPhone Pro for the first time. You can't go back to 60 Hz after that. One area where the 15-inch is still a bit better for me is when I'm working with two tabs or windows side by side. You can definitely make it work on the 14, but the 15 inch is still better. I have a full video here on the channel comparing all MacBook sizes, so I'll leave the link here and you can watch it after this video. The speakers on the M4 MacBook Pro are also much better than the ones on the MacBook Air. I won't do a sound test comparing the two because I don't believe in sound tests on YouTube as they depend on how people record the devices and also on the speakers the audience is using to play the video, but I'll say that the sound is much fuller and crisper. The bass is deeper, and especially when watching movies or TV shows, the voice is more detailed. Overall, both are good, but the speakers on the Pro are significantly better. Talking about ports, you now have three Thunderbolt ports on the base model MacBook Pro instead of two on the M3 MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. Also, you get a HDMI 2.1 port on this machine, so if you want to connect a 120Hz external monitor, you're good to go. 
And if your concern is how comfortable this MacBook is, I can definitely say that this is way better than my previous 15 inch MacBook Air. Not only does it fit in all my backpacks and totes, but it's also very comfortable to type on. I already knew and discussed this topic in my all MacBook sizes comparison video, but this was the thing I was looking for on my next MacBook. Also, to protect it, I bought this in-case hard shell case. One thing I really like about it is that it's not glossy, so it won't leave many fingerprints on it. On my 15-inch, I was using a glossy case, and it looked like a mess. So I highly suggest this one by InCase. I will leave my affiliate link down below in the description. And there you have it. These are the main reasons why I upgraded from the 15-inch MacBook Air to the base model 14-inch M4 MacBook Pro. I think many users, including some professionals, will find this machine more than enough and it'll probably last them a long time. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.